Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. This is Kid. How is everybody doing? I'm at guys, so I had a great weekend. I'm feeling pretty refreshed and I'm ready to play some Minecraft. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. So guys, off camera, basically I just been harvesting up the uh, carrots here and also the wheat. Um, even though it doesn't look like I have, but I have as you see there and in here quite a bit. And <laughs> if we just go back this way and there as well. They're actually due for another harvesting as you see, but for right now, we're not gonna worry ourselves about that. Also, our villagers have just been kinda in here hanging out and I don't know what they're doing. Um, it looks like I'm disturbing them, so let's, let's just leave them in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, who knows what they were doing. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to figure it out but um yeah guys so off camera I also made a connection to the portal and to our our mining area so let's just go check that out real quick and I think it looks absolutely cool so look at this boing <laughs> I put in these bridges here which one leads to the portal like I just said and also this uh you know mine that we're going to be using soon uh probably in the next episode or something like that um, but yeah guys, so I went with this super simple mine decoration, if you will, you know, I just used a bit of oak logs uh, right there and right there. I stripped some of them randomly just to give it that kind of old and rustic look. I used a couple of trap doors here, which, oops, <laughs> I'm so destructive. I don't know why I'm always being so destructive. Let me put these back real quick and attach those. And yeah guys, so behind there, there's uh, campfires. And there's another pillar here of oak logs. So basically it's an, an oak box frame, is, if you will. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I did a little bit, little bit of texturing here. Um, a bit over here as well. Let's see. And here it's pretty plain. I didn't really do anything, as I said. So we're not going to worry about that right now. So I put some vines here. I put some cobble, some mossy cobble. I also did the same over here. Um... Yep, I put some bone mill in there, also with some of those things, whatever they're called, I forgot. <laughs> and I put some uh, bone mill in here as well. And guys, look at this, so it's pretty cool, pretty simple. Just go straight to the portal here. I, I detailed a little bit, but I didn't go overboard. And I also like using this block right here. I think it's pretty cool. It's called soul soil, and yeah, it kind of looks like mud. So I, you know, I kind of peppered it along the uh, sides here i didn't put too much of it but yeah guys pretty pretty cool if you if you'll see yeah so uh let's grab our bed and let's talk about what we're going to do today so in this episode guys i think what i want to work on is a villager breeder so with that being said let me go ahead and chop down some materials like wood basically and maybe collect some stone itch guys and well, i'll bring you back when uh, it's time to build <laughs> All right guys, so I think I actually got all the materials and we're ready to make this villager breeder. So as you can see, I kind of put a water source here and then basically I put in half of a uh, crop field basically. So usually, you know, you can go uh, out by four in each direction if you wanted to make a complete one, but I just kind of did a half one as per the tutorial. And by the way, while I'm at it, this tutorial is actually by somebody by the name of Bobbert Pickle. I will link his video and his channel down in the description i highly encourage you check it out all right guys so as you know i'm not good at uh, redstone or anything like that but i'll generally try to explain it the best way i can but if you have any questions i would suggest that you go check out the video on his channel all right so now that we have that in there uh i'm going to take some oak logs and we're just going to go ahead and cover this up but i'm going to do it in a bit of of a stylish way obviously <laughs> I want it to look I want it to look good so we're just going to go ahead and lift this up here by a minimum of three but I'm going to do four just like that guys and basically I'm going to take what I did there and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat it on all the sides all right guys so now that I lifted up all the oak beams here I'm just going to go ahead and 
do a couple cross beams on the top just like this and I'm gonna do this all the way around basically and now that we did the cross beams guys I'm gonna put some upside down stairs of spruce just like that I'm gonna do that all the way around this but I'm gonna leave this space of three open as per the tutorial so instead I'm gonna go ahead and put a single slab there to cover that up and then yeah upside down stairs on the all the way around except right here all right guys so now that we did that I'm just gonna take some glass next and just fill it in that way we can actually um, look at the villagers you know as they're breeding not that anybody would want to watch that but <laughs> eh, you know just so we can see how the, the uh, farm works or the villager breeder works rather so something just like that I'm gonna get some more glass but that's fine next up we're just gonna take uh, an axe and go ahead and place in these composters like so and then we're just gonna take our carrots and pretty much plant them all right guys so next up what we want to do is actually place in some trap doors so let's just do this and basically um, as described in the video this is just gonna stop the villagers from escaping so let's just close those up and then we're gonna go ahead and remove these bottom three trap doors just like so then next up we just want to go ahead and dig down by two and this basically right here is going to be where the uh, baby villagers kind of fall into and also what we're going to have to do at some point anyhow is put some trap doors here and leave them open so that way the villager the baby villagers fall into there all right guys so for the purpose of this video i'm going to modify this ever so slightly uh because in the tutorial basically uh, this block was actually where the composters were and then in this next step we went out by three but since i have mine here i'm just going to go out by three here so one two and let's do one more here there we go three and let's do that on both sides so let's just do this real quick like so okay and now i'm going to go ahead and put in some more support beams here so again one two three and four and also on this side one two three and four and this is actually going to be the, the the chamber where the beds are located which is a part of the the uh, villager breeder which basically uh, the villagers that are going to be in there are going to want to sleep so they're going to kind of see these and that's basically part of the overall mechanics of how the villager breeder works so anyhow guys now that we have that let's just go ahead and hmm, let's put some more stairs here like so and then what i'm going to do is go ahead and fill these all in with uh, glass Alright guys, so welcome back. As you can see, I put the mirror, the uh, glass in, but I kind of left this part out because as you see, there's two villagers right there. And the moment I put down this third bed in my hand, it's going to activate this breeder. So with that, let's activate the breeder. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and put some stairs this way, just like this. And then let's take some glass blocks and let's just fill this in right here, just like so. That way, no mobs can uh, can um, either get in nor escape. But with that being said, let me also put down a couple of torches in here or, or some kind of lighting just to make sure uh, that there's no kind of moss spawns whatsoever in there. So let's just throw this lantern right there. And there we go, guys. <laughs> there will be no mob spawns in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the roof in a little bit later. But for right now, let's just check out this thing that I got over here. So let's lower this for right now. And I want to show you what happens. So basically, whenever they have a little baby villager, these are going to be open, which I'm glad I'm doing this because I forgot to open them. And basically, the baby villager is going to see this as a full block. He's going to attempt to get on the beds there and it's going to fall in here. He's going to, you know, come through this little water trench here that I dug. And then he's going to pop out right here. And that's really, really cool. As you see, I already started making a structure that's going to hold in the new villagers. Uh, it's not particularly big at the moment, but, uh, you know, that that's fine. That's okay. I'm probably just going to, hmm, maybe remove, um, maybe we'll just, I don't know, put it here or something, the door? I don't know. But for right now, let's just go ahead and lift up these blocks a little bit more. Hmm, yes. Like that, I'm thinking at least two. So that way the uh, babies cannot get out of this thing for right now. And then let's go ahead and lift up this spruce log right here. And there we go guys the villagers can now not escape from here so let's just finish uh filling this in 
Uh, I'm running out of cobble, as you see, and no, my glass. Okay, let's get the glass, and let's hurry out of here, and there we go. So let's just put those two, and then uh, let's just go ahead and get some uh, more cobblestone, guys. All right, guys, so let's just keep filling in this roof here. Just something like this. Let's make it as simple as possible. Again, it's just going to be a very small holding cell. And actually, we're going to need some kind of torches in there. So you know what? Let's put them in now so we don't forget. We'll just put one there. Maybe one there. Hmm. Or you should have put it lower. Okay, so like right there. All right, so let's put these in lower. Right here. And this one right here. And I think we're going to put the door right here. So we're going to have to remove this side. For symmetry's sake. Uh, let's put it upside down stair. Which I know we have some. There we go. Something like that. And then let's go ahead and put some trap doors there. Which we have no more of. So let's just quickly make a couple of trap doors. And now let's just do this. For right now. There you go. And maybe we'll probably put a gate there I'm thinking. But for right now let's just leave this in place. They can't get out, and I think we can get in. Actually, we can, but they can't. See, we can crawl in here if we really wanted to. But that kind of looks tacky, so... <laughs> Let's just leave that alone for right now. Um, we actually need to give these guys some food so they can fill up their inventory, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's just go ahead and give them, well, the carrots that are not in my inventory. Uh, it's because they're right here. How strange. <laughs> oh, man. I have really bad, you know, inventory management, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just crazy. So, let's go. Throw that right there. There you go. He picked it up. Let's just throw them all in there. Um, I guess these carrots don't want to go. So, yeah, guys. Earlier, I borrowed or kidnapped these uh, villagers. <laughs> uh, uh, look. Look. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, my gosh. It's so fast. Uh, let, let's give them some privacy. <laughs> um, are y'all ready now? Ah, look at it! The first villager, or baby villager. Hello! Yes, do you see your parents? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right, you see them. But you're gonna go in there very soon, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> you're not getting out. <laughs> No, you're not, but we are. Bye-bye. Here, you can have some cobblestone to play with. <laughs> we got our first villager in there. That's amazing. Now, let's just go ahead and finish putting these uh, cobblestone blocks down. Let's see, how do we want to do this path here? Hmm. I don't know why this is still here, so let's take this down. It looks a bit strange, and it definitely doesn't fit there. Let's go ahead and get our uh, crafting table. And I'm thinking, let's make some slabs. Let's worry about the roof first, actually, on this thing in particular. So let's just put a quick um, roof on this. All right, something like that. And this looks a bit weird. Why does it look weird? Hmm. Oh, because this not supposed to be here. Ugh. Right, exactly. Okay, yep, that was supposed to be there. Okay. Now I see, all right. Just start over a little bit. There we go. Now it should come right in just the way it should be. Like so. Ow, ow. Of course, this leaves are in the way. Okay, and this one as well. Perfect. All right, there we go. And let's just go to sleep real quick. And now let's just go up here real quick. And uh, let's just do something with this roof. So. Let's see, this thing should have went something like so. Mm -hmm. We'll leave that middle part for the moment. Okay. And now just double slab, basically. Something like so. And we're gonna keep doing that until we fill it up. Oh, okay, and there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Mm, maybe you can put a slab here and there. Yeah. There we go, mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> that's looking awesome. Hmm. That's that's a good gesture. Let's see. Maybe we can do something like this. Like that. And um, yeah, guys, for right now, I think this is going to work. See, our villager friend is right there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. You shook your head? Yeah? You understand? 
<laughs> All right, guys. So now it's time to move on to this roof. Ow. What was that? Okay, I have no more armor. That's insane. <laughs> beater this looks so cool <laughs> so i know you probably saw in the time lapse that i kind of missed an area not that one specifically but this one but don't worry guys i caught it before i showed you you know this right now and yeah i fixed it and it looks just like the other size in addition i kind of fixed that up just a little bit right there and look i forgot to strip the oak logs oh man i'm such a dunce <laughs> but guys what do y'all think Oh man, I, I love this thing. I mean, it's so simple, but I mean, uh, as far as the detailing, there wasn't too much I could have done, uh, considering how this is actually an even build, and I didn't even realize that until uh, I was putting the roof on it. You, pro you guys probably noticed that I uh, was kind of going back and forth, you know, doing things. He was probably like, could you get it together, kid? Could you have your materials ready? <laughs> But, um, yeah, you see I even left the daggone blocks here I was using to kind of scaffolding up, which is kind of crazy because I have scaff scaffolding and I was using blocks. But, anyway, yeah, guys, so what do you think about this build, right? Does it look cool? Let me know down in the comments. Um, but, yeah, guys, so look, if I didn't show you in the time lapse, look, we got three villagers now and they're all grown up and they're just hanging out in there. Uh, I don't know what they're doing by the door, but you know what? No questions. No questions. So yeah, I just came in here and sprinkled in some coarse dirt, of course, some gravel, some flowers. I probably have too many sweet berries. <laughs> I put some mossy here and some regular stone uh, for, for variation, of course, for texturing. Um, and yeah, guys, I kind of went with this super simple uh, dark oak trim and, a, uh, and spruce on the top. I was thinking about maybe even coming in here and peppering in some oak kind of randomly, like, you know, regular oak planks or oak stairs just to give it that broken feel but you know what i decided to keep this build pretty much clean and uh, i like the way it came out so um yeah guys so i put some lanterns here after the time lapse just to provide a little you know bit of extra light to make sure no mob spawns i am a little concerned about this right here but the truth is they cannot get inside that at all there's no way possible for them to get in there 
uh, they can't spawn, no mobs can spawn on the, um, the, uh, farming field right there, so, we have the, you know, you have nothing to worry about, they don't seem to jump up too much anyhow, so yeah, they just hang out there, they pick all the different crops, crops that they like, or whatever, and then, you know, they do the thing, and we're not going to talk about it, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I, I really did have fun making this, I actually didn't think it was going to turn out looking this cool, but I really do love it, guys. So, um, yeah, basically, once they breed, uh, the, the baby villager is going to attempt to get one of those beds right there. Uh, if you don't see them, there's trap doors right over here. Oh, okay. Um, hello? Could you stop hitting me? Thank you. Uh, so, if you don't see it, there's trap doors right there. And basically, they're going to think that's a full block, and they're going to try to get on these beds, and they're going to fall on that gap. And then basically in that gap there's a bunch of water which is going to bring them to this building right here and actually we can kind of see it from right there there goes the bubble column uh i'm not worried about the villagers drowning or anything because because that bubble column really only goes one way so yeah uh i was thinking about maybe just releasing a couple of them like you know finally having an actual a villager for this build right here but the issue is right now that um yeah we have no transport system Meaning, if I were to open it, open it, all the villagers would come flying out, and that's not what you know. That's not what we want right now. So, guys, other than that, now that we have villagers, the next thing is an iron farm, and we really need one of those because, as you see, I have no more armor on, and I'm back to kind of using stone tools. So, with that, guys, I hope you liked the episode. If so, can you please leave a like and also consider subscribing? And with that, I will see you, lovelies in the next Minecraft Hardcore video. Goodbye.